everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 and I have something fabulous to show you. I am on the design team for Not Too Shabby and the February Box of the Month kit is available now. It's got a couple of different things. One is a theater theme, like going to the movies. It's called Meet Me at the Movies. And this one, Meet Me in Wonderland, well obviously you can guess what the theme is. Now this um, collection has ephemera die cuts and two stamp sets. The stamp sets are fabulous. I mean, sorry, I know there's a glare. So if you want, stop and take a look at the fun um, sayings on here. Oh, I put that in upside down? No, I didn't. Um, yes, I did. So I made cards, and that is going to be over at the Not Too Shabby channel. So go check that out. They're Z fold cards, they're mini slimline Z fold cards. So the problem is I did not have envelopes to go with that. So we're making the envelopes today and not only are we making the envelopes, but we're going to decorate them. So they're both the same basically and it's a five minute project. I don't like spending time on envelopes, but I like them to have a little pizzazz to them. So let's get started. We're going to first make the envelopes, then we're going to decorate. So let's do it. All right, let's make the envelope for our mini slim line. So to start, I have a piece of paper that's eight and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to put it on the scoreboard and I'm first going to score it two and a half and at six and a half. I'll rotate it and score at one and a half and at eight. And then we've got four rectangles at the corners. We're going to grab a scissors and trim them. And I'm going to trim at a slight angle up to the where the score lines make an X. Slight angle. Okay, so there is our paper. I'll grab my bone folder and fold and burnish on the score lines. All right. Now I'm going to take my corner rounder and round the corners. This really has no practical purpose. It is just for looks. Now, it might be difficult to round the corners because we've cut that at an angle. Yep, can't do it. So, a little bit. Oh, I know. Fold in that paper. That's what I'm meant to do. And then let's go ahead and glue it all together. So I'm going to have this tab on the bottom. Well, first let's glue this part. So we'll just add glue to about a quarter inch on the top. And then to the closure on the bottom. And there we go. So our card will fit with lots of room. And there you go. All right, and now that we have the envelopes made, let's decorate them real quick. Let's see if we can make this take five minutes or less. First, I grabbed a piece of cardstock I cut four by six and three eighths. Actually, a smidgen smaller than that. I want it to fit inside the envelope so we don't get the um, the lines from it. So just just 
you can use any color, do it over and over. You could even use textured card paint, card stock if you wanted to. I have a black ink that is alcohol marker friendly if you're going to use alcohol. I have a Distress Oxide and Distress Ink. We're going to grab Distress Ink, but first I have a piece of cardstock, and again, it could be any color that is two inches by four inches. Now, I am using my ATG just to sort of tack it on so it doesn't move. If you have uh, maybe a two inch piece or a couple of one inch pieces of low tack tape, that would work too. I'm going to put it oh, about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom and about an inch over from the right hand side, just so we have room for everything we want to do. And I also have a I know I have it somewhere. A piece, oh, we'll use this. Um, it's one by three and a half, but I'm actually going to move this up. This is for the return address. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I don't need that much of a return address. I can write small. Okay, so we have that there to mask off our paper. I'm going to take a blending tool and some of my candy apple. You can use any color. It doesn't have to be what I do. I'm starting on our um, cardstock and just going around the outline of it just to add a little bit of color and dimension. Getting, trying to stay darker near where my cardstock is and lighter around it. That's just to add a little color. And I will go around where the return address is just a little bit. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with that. But I'll leave my cardstock on there. And I'm going to take the little heart die that is in the uh, stamp collection and I am going to use here I'm going to use my distress oxide just because I like the opaqueness of it is opaqueness a word and I am going to stamp randomly on the card some of it will go off the paper onto the little piece of 2x4 cardstock. Some will go off the edge of the paper. It's just going to be all over. But I'm going to leave this area blank. I feel like I need another hole. There we go. Alright. Got to clean that off real quick. And then I'm going to grab the other card shape, the spade. And this is basically going to be black, white, and gray. I'm not going to go color, color crazy. And I'm going to use this ink pad and just stamp in areas where Uh, the heart is not. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with that. I am going to use the Cheshire Cat. Now, if you're going to use one of the other shapes, just size it first before you start to make sure you're going to have room. I know I will have room on the bottom left hand side here. And I don't want them to straight, oops, I didn't want them straight up and down, but I dinged it onto the paper, so we do want it straight up and down. So yeah, he's a little bit over onto the red, but that's okay. It's okay. 
All right, let's put away all these. I don't need them for this second. All right, I have some alcohol markers in uh, gray tones. It's warm gray, and I'm going to quickly color our Cheshire Cat. Um, these are a hoo-hoo. And just so you know, I have RG030, WG050, a cool gray 200, red gray 120. Now I am going to actually take the red gray, because I like the fact that they're grays, but they're different tones. And I am going to color his hair. Now, because I am using regular copy paper, it works differently than alcohol marker paper. And that's okay. It's just you have to realize it's not going to blend the same as if you were to have good alcohol marker paper. I am taking uh, the warm gray five and I am just quickly coloring the stripes every other one. I am not being very fussy about this at all. I mean, it's an envelope. I'm going to color his ears. And then I'm going to take another one of the grays, uh, the dark one. And I'm just going to just outline this. It just will give it a little more roundness. And I'm taking this really light cool gray using the fine tip and just going right on the outside. And I'm going to do just lightly outline his face with this. It's going to even dry lighter than what you see. I'm going to go down a couple times under his chin and just let that dry. And then I need some red. Normally I would do cheeks in pink. But I'm using red just so it all blends in together. I'm even going to do his nose red and the inside of his ears. I mean, it's not realistic. It's a Cheshire cat. Okay, that's all the coloring I'm going to do. I will gently pull this off. If you get some residue, it'll, it'll come up. Usually if I twist it, it comes up easy. And then I have this gummy racer to help it come up. And then I'm going to take a, a VersaFine marker or whatever you have. And this is especially good after you've had a lot of coffee. I'm going to just sort of go around the outside and then do a couple of dots sort of jaggedy one two three dots a long line a dot a short line two dots a long line to the corner and a dot start here with a dot dot line zigzaggy line dot zigzaggy line to the other dot we'll do that for the return address you 
you can add an X if you want to. Jaggedy line dot, jaggedy line dot, dot. And then last step, because I told you that we're not going to spend a lot of time on here. I'm going to just take one of the markers using my brush tip, and I'm just going to make it look like this is a box that is shaded. I'm going to go over anything in its way. Make a diagonal line. And just make a good corner. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. It's sort of fun. You know, you could write the address here, you know, use whatever good writing you can or just take your time or just make the first name fun and, or the first letter Alice with a big A. And there you go. That's all I was going to do. So you put a cool little stamp on here, you send it, and somebody is going to think you must have spent hours on that. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out the um, cards I made in the Not Too Shabby shop, shop channel. I'll put the link in the description box. And that's what I have for you. Have a fabulous day.